I think that um, hype eventually fades, and what you're really left with is either a really good company or a really bad company, and uh, no amount of hype can change that reality. So um, the point that I'm trying to make is that um, sometimes the narrative of how success is described is very different from how a company was actually built. And I think that the way that you will be successful is um, by having the discipline to focus on the thing that you think is the most important and not get distracted by all these external signals. And all of these signals serve to do is to try to find ways of packaging you into their framework. And the problem with doing that is if you all of a sudden start to believe that framework that is not your own, then you get distracted, you make mistakes, and when you make mistakes, other people who don't make those mistakes win. You know, when I talked about not reading TechCrunch, I'd say jokingly, TechCrunch itself is a relatively useful uh, um, blog at times. Um, but the more general point that I'm trying to make is that you should not spend all of your time uh, in the blogosphere to try to guide your intuition on what you should be doing. And so, you know, when I look at how I spend my time, all of those blogs, I allocate no more than 30 minutes once a week. And what I do is I very quickly peruse them to make sure that I know what's going on. But the rest of the time, I spend so much time on Wikipedia. I spend so much time in technical websites. I spend so much time trying products and using different products and coming to my own conclusions. And that informs my perspective of the world. It informs my understanding of very fundamental technologies. It allows me to stay abreast of things. And it allows me to prevent myself, again, from being distracted by the... Uh, populist perception of things versus the actual reality of things.